we just use the library quantumod to get the various market data that we want. So remember that quantumod uses the same names as Yahoo Finance. So if we just look around on Yahoo Finance, we can get all the names that we need. So here we have the S&P, which is the classic market, I mean the largest stock index, a good measure of risk. Then we have Twitter. This is interesting because, well, we've got less data. There's only several years worth. And also because it's basically been in a downward trend. So it began with great fanfare, shot up, and then fell lower than it than its IPO, tried to recover, fell again, though it didn't fall further. Tried to go up, didn't even get as far as the last time. Now it fell even lower and it's fallen lower, lower. So it's interesting because we want to look at different types of shares to see how does our maths, our forecasting um, functions and stuff within R deal with it. I mean, because does it just assume that things are going to be going up? Does it do better with things which are going up than things going down? Then, then I look at Barclays. Also interesting because very volatile. Now I'll need to look up what happened there because I think it normally handles uh, share splits automatically. Um, so you don't see this kind of thing. But this too is in a downtrend. So not just, oh, it's look at this big fall from 8,000 to whatever. If you just look at the last, like this year, or I'll look at the last year. Yeah, basically it's been, been falling and falling. But it's, it, uh, it's an unusual market because, you know, you'd have a certain view of how shares move like Twitter, which is more traumatized, people don't know what's happening. Is it going to survive? Is there a business in there? Likewise, Barclays, what's going to happen with all this uh, regulation with next, with basically negative interest rates or very low interest? Banks are having to shed jobs left, right and center. So how does that show up in the share price? And then finally, Ryanair, one of my favorites, doing good profits, uh, having a great time as uh, oil prices fall. It's making, it's growing because it's growing into its main markets. So basically everything is pretty healthy. So these are the four sets of data that I'm going to be working with. So we just go get symbols and we get the name of the symbols from the Yahoo Finance page. See here, here's S&P 500. Here's the name, symbol equal. So that's, that's what we're looking for. And for each one of these shares, we, we get the name here. So S, symbol is TWTR and so on. So we just go get symbols, there's our symbol, and then the data is loaded. And if I go ahead, what I got, I can see 
here's the share, here's the data. And then I do it again. So for Ryanair, I just download the data by saying, by saying get symbols ryA.l and now it's downloaded. So I can now play around with that. I can do the same for Twitter, I can do the same for Barclays. So we now have the data that we wanted. So next week we see how does our data fitting do with its predictions.